If you have your Bibles, open to Leviticus chapter 23. <clears throat> we are working our way through It wasn't a trumpet, so we're all still here. <laughs> um, we're working our way through the feasts, the appointed times, Leviticus 23, that God had given to the nation of Israel. We have read through, we, we've talked about the Sabbath, we've talked about the spring feasts, uh, we did discuss the Feast of Trumpets, the first fall feast. Um, we are up to the Day of Atonement, and, and I want to share with you, um, doing this series has been very intimidating for me, because I'm, I'm only newly come in the last 10, 12 years or so to, to the understanding of how God views Israel, how God views the Jews. And uh, I came, I grew up in a church that uh, either overtly or subvertly talked, uh, taught the replacement theology uh, with the idea being that, yeah, the Jews had their shot and they blew it. So now everything that God had intended for them, he's taken away from them and he's given to us, the church. And um, I got to tell you, you know, Dennis and Jeannie rubbed me the wrong way <laughs> when we first met. Like, gosh, you guys just don't get it, do you? <laughs> you got to be careful when you say things like that because, you know, there are people that pray and, and, and when, when you, you are going against people that pray that have God on their side, it's kind of like butting your head on a rock. Guess what gives? Uh, all my years, I've never broken the rock. I've got a lot of headaches, but I've never broken the rock. So... Uh, God has been, been kind of taking me through. Uh, I remember years ago, um, Christy and I were talking, and, and she had said that she really wanted to go to Israel. And I thought, why would you want to go to that desert, barren place? I, I can't even, there are so many other places. I mean, I mean, we could go to Ireland, or we could go to Japan, or, you know, there, there's places that are, are just stunning in their beauty. And, and you, have you seen the pictures? <laughs> There's nothing there. Well, you know, God took us out of Colorado and stuck us in Oklahoma. 